Today let's take up selection sort in arrays. Now there are three types of uh, sorting techniques in arrays. Uh, the first one is a selection sort, then you have the bubble sort and the insertion sort. So today let's look, look at how the selection sort works and how we'll we write the program for a selection sort, right? Now we'll straight away, uh, I'll straight away write the program for the selection sort and then uh, I'll explain how it actually works. Now supposing <clears throat> This is the prototype for the selection sort. I call it as S sort. Now inside this you have to pass two things. One is the integer array and the next one is the size of the array which is to be sorted. Right? Then you have the main function. Now here <clears throat> inside the main function first of all you take an array. Give a size for that array. Right? And then you take an integer item n and index right okay now see out how many elements do you want in the array whatever the user enters that goes into the variable n right okay then <coughs> see out enter the array elements so here you will have the for loop for entering the array elements for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus right here you take the uh, input the name of the array is array so i okay okay after this <coughs> we have to call the sort function now here we have taken the input into the array the array is not sorted right okay so now let's now inside the main function the next statement will be s sort that is the call uh, to the function array comma n n is the size of the array right okay now i am going to uh, come to the function void s sort now here this is int array and this is int n right now let's assume an array here supposing I have an array put some elements into this so this is an unsorted array remember that right <clears throat> something like this right okay now let's come to this function now here you see you take one variable called small one variable called pause and one variable called temp right small position and temp right now here first of all for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus this is my outer loop right now inside the outer loop <coughs> you write small is equal to array i okay and pause is equal to i fine now after doing this now i put an inner for loop for int j is equal to i plus 1 j less than n and j plus plus right now in this inner for loop we are going to do the comparison if array j 
is less than small right in that case you will put small is equal to array j and pos is equal to j right then once this is done the inner for loop will be closed right you come out of the inner for loop when you come out of the inner for loop you have to do the swapping so here you write temp is equal to array j right then array i is equal to array j uh, array j is already there array i is equal to array position right and actually this uh, yeah right array i is equal to array position and array position is equal to 10 right okay now let's first try to understand what is happening here after this statement uh, after this is done we are just going to display the array so i'll put that also once a swapping is done after that uh, you can write a for loop for int m is equal to 0 m less than n m plus plus right now here i'm putting it here itself uh, c out array m like this this is just uh, for displaying that array after the interchange is done right now after uh, doing this you will have to close the this is the end of outer for loop right Here, after this you will close the outer for loop and then you will close the function like this right okay now let's try to see how this is working now first of all we start with i is equal to 0 right we have <coughs> small is equal to array i that is 89 right and pause is equal to 0 this is what you have right now you start with the inner for loop you say j is equal to i plus 1 j is 1 right if array j what is array j array j is 23 right 23 is less than 89 that is true so what happens so small becomes equal to 23 and pause becomes equal to 1 okay now after that j plus plus so j will now become equal to 2 so what is there in 2 it is 12 right so 12 is again now what is small 12 is less than 23 right so now what will happen small will become equal to 12 and pause will become equal to 2 right now j is equal to 3 right now what will you do if array j is less than small small is 12 right so now 5 is less than 12 if 5 is less than 12 again this one will become small is equal to 5 pos is equal to 3 right after that j is equal to 4 now in the fourth position i have 2 so 2 is less than 5 right so if 2 is less than 5 now this becomes small is equal to 2 pos is equal to 4 okay after that j becomes equal to 5 right this is 67 67 <coughs> is less than 2 which is false right 43 is less than 2 which is again false right so now once you come out of the inner for loop now what are you doing you are saying temp is equal to array j 
temp is equal to array i sorry uh, put array j there uh, temp is equal to array i because the position of j that you are doing you are already storing it in pos so we don't need j at all temp is equal to array i now what was array i initially array i i is equal to 0 so temp is equal to 89 you will get right array i is equal to array pos what is pos finally we got the value for pos as this this one right so when i say array i is equal to array pos it means array 0 is equal to array 4 so array 0 this one will become equal to 2 right and array pos is equal to temp what is array pos pos is 4 that is temp temp is 89 so basically what is happening is this 2 is coming over here right and this 89 is going to this place fine once this is done we are just showing the array uh, with this for loop this one right and after that i go back to the outer for loop again when i go back to the outer for loop the value of i and j changes right now let's see just one more uh, pass i'll show you <coughs> Here. Now i will be equal to 1, right, and j will be equal to 2, fine. Now, here when I write this, small is equal to array i, small will be equal to 23, and pos will be equal to 1, fine. Now, we start with j is equal to 2. If array j, what is there in j? That is 12. 12 is less than 23, it is less than 23, so small becomes equal to 12, and pos becomes equal to. 2 right after that you have 5 j becomes equal to 3 the inner for loop right so now you have 5 is less than 12 5 is less than 12 so what happens small becomes equal to 5 and pause becomes equal to 3 fine after that j is equal to 4 that is how much 89 so 89 the condition will not be true right then you have j is equal to 5 is 67 the small is now 5 so these numbers are larger than 5 so you don't have to do anything j is equal to 6 that is 43 fine so finally i can write this and i come out of this uh, for loop we have this temp is equal to sorry temp is equal to array i array 1 right array 1 was how much 23 see here temp is equal to 23 fine and then array i array i is now array 1 array 1 is equal to array pos what is array pos array 3 so which is equal to 5 and array pos that is array 3 is equal to temp temp is 23 so now basically what is happening here this the first pass is already over right so I'll just remove this fine. Now what is happening? This 23 is getting swapped with this 5. So this is becoming 5 and this is becoming 23 like this. Understood? So now you have made two passes, right? Same way the next time when you start, I will be 2 and J will be 3. So now the small element will be 12. 12 will be compared with all these elements. Starting from 23, 67, 43, none of them is less. Nothing will happen. The next time it is 23. Again, 23 is the smallest. So, it will be as it is. Now, when you come to this 89 and when you do the comparisons, this 89 will be swapped with 43. So, basically what will happen? 43 will come here, 89 will go there. right and then you will start with 67 now it is already sorted so 67 89 understood so this is how a selection sort will work right 
so basically the smallest element <coughs> is retrieved from a list of values in an array and the smallest element is put in the beginning so it keeps on going like that 2 pi so uh, in the first pass the smallest element will come in the first place in the second pass the smallest element leaving out the first place like 2 we have already put here so leaving out 2 whatever is the smallest among the remaining elements right that will come here second smallest third smallest fourth smallest like this it will keep on putting the elements till the whole array is sorted right so this is how a selection sort works and the algorithm for selection sort also follows the same thing but uh, you are supposed to learn the function of selection sort we have done here right this is what this is uh, I have explained how the selection sort works and this is the function for selection sort which is important right now uh, after doing the selection sort when you go back to the main method this is the place from where I call the selection sort method and this is the selection sort we have sorted the array and after that I can display the array in the main method so here we just need to put a for loop the sorted array is this is simple just a for loop here for int j is equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus right and here you just display the array j and then a space like this that's it right see how it ended I wrote uh, int main so it should be return 0 here and this is the end of main function right so this is how a selection sort works so with that I come to the end of this uh, session on selection sort